Hey guys, so some people wanted to see a comparison here between the gaming on uh, the Huawei Mate 8 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, two of the leading edge smartphones here for Android, which one gives you the better kind of gaming experience with the uh, Kirin 950 versus the Malai. Uh, sorry, the uh, Exynos 8890. Uh, so I think they're both using uh, Mali GPUs, uh, and we can just have a look here how they compare. We're just going to start off with the uh, the Mate 8 here. So for some reason, I can't seem to get any sound on the uh, Mate 8 with this game. I'm not 100% sure why, but we can have a look at the graphics nevertheless and see uh, you know how it is. So the first thing you'll notice is that you get a massive screen real estate with the uh, the Mate 8, which you know is a lot more kind of engaging when you want to play the gaming here. Uh, it's like more kind of real estate to do stuff, uh, which is nice. We are only getting a full HD display, however, so you know it might not be that kind of dense as what you'll get on other phones at the moment flagship 2k phones like from samsung uh, but to me it's not really that bad really you know even though it's spread out quite uh, a lot and also obviously the technology employed is lcd i think uh, ips neo so uh, it's uh, the viewing angles are decent but probably again not as good as an amoled uh, panel but you can see here the gaming uh, kind of experience is absolutely phenomenal uh, you know no lag or whatever uh, fantastic uh, performance I think it's the uh, Malai T880 uh, that we're getting in this device and also obviously the Mate 8 has a uh, 4000 mAh battery which is absolutely it's unbelievably good when it comes to the battery you know I've not been able to drain it I don't think yet uh, just using it uh, so that's a bit bigger than the S7 Edge which is obviously uh, big but not quite as big so that could be uh, something good to know uh, but uh, you can see here it plays very well with the Mate 8 uh, we can just have a quick look as well at the brand new Galaxy S7 Edge here so hopefully we can get some sound on this one or maybe not I think this is actually to do with the game like when you multitasking on the game now and again the sound doesn't come back uh, which is weird but Nevertheless, you can see the actual gameplay here, and uh, there's a bluish tinge, I think, to to this game on both platforms. I thought it was the Mate 8 at first, but uh, it seems to be on like uh, multiple devices here. Uh, so basically, you can see uh, the actual gaming is very fluid here as well and with the curve kind of display that you do get it really does uh, give you some eye candy so the viewing angles are a little bit better as well obviously because the AMOLED technology uh, but the back here is a little bit more slippy I'd say than the Mate 8 because it's obviously glass versus metal however I don't think it heats up quite as much as the Mate 8 which does heat up a little bit more so that's something uh, interesting uh, I think obviously the Mate 8 is a cheaper device as well so you know if you're on a budget you might uh, have a good time with the Mate 8 regardless of it being a little bit uh, cheaper let's throw a grenade so you can see the graphics here basically the same as console quality you know absolutely beautiful no issues whatsoever uh, we can just now uh, also have a look at another game I do have on the device 
which I think uh, we can have a look at here. Real Racing. So I think we get some sound with Real Racing. So we'll just play one of them. So let's see how Real Racing plays on the Mate 8. How do I go forward? I forgot. Ah, there we go. That's better. So you can see very nice and smooth here, massive display, really makes the uh, game engrossing. So very nice with the uh, Mate 8 and we can just check out the the edge here nice and quick. So I do like as well the way the edge doesn't have like a black border going around it. It's more like edge to edge here. Whoa. So can you see a difference in terms of the performance? Personally I can't. They both seem to be very smooth and fantastic in terms of the eye candy. Uh, so, but then again, as I said, I do like the way there's no black border on the edge. Uh, but then again, you know, if you if you can't afford the edge, you can see the actual gaming is uh, very similar here on the Mate 8. It's remarkable how Huawei has caught up with Samsung's uh, devices here with its own kind of uh, you know processor. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here between these two on the gaming. Hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.